In this case, I have a product which is getting an error indicating that there is another SKU which is using this exact UPC and Walmart does not allow that. Let's open a product page and let's copy this UPC code. Now I go to products page and I'm searching for this UPC. As you can see, it found only one product. If it found two products, it would be obvious that there's already another product which is using the same UPC. Of course, you have to make sure that you have all your products imported from Walmart seller account. So you have to log into your Walmart seller account and make sure that this number over here is the same that it's also on your Walmart panel. Over here, that's the case. This is really the only product with this UPC. This is what I'm going to do. I open this again, I go to attributes and I'm copying this attribute. So I'm indicating that SKU override should be set to true. I sa save it. So now what that means is it's sending a message to Walmart telling to Walmart, look, if there's anything else in your database that is associated with this particular UPC code, please override this. So this is the correct product which should be associated with this particular UPC. So I'm going to the products page, um, removing filters and I go to my drafts. So actually I know that all of those products over here had this issue. So I'm exporting them to a file and now I'm searching for this column busy which is att additional attributes um, removing everything I don't need any columns except this column with attributes and my SKUs column so you can see my file looks like this this is the value that I added to one of my products so I'm copying this over here and I'm saving my file now I'm importing this data over here. So you can see how it looks here. Um, there's a SKU, there's additional products, attributes. I can finish import. Now if I go to any of those products and I edit, then you can see that this attribute is here. All I have to do right now is just go to my pending and I have to export it to Walmart. After it's exported, you'll be able to go to feed status and see that it's pending. So if everything goes good, you will see this kind of message here that all of them went through successfully. Now I have to remove this attribute because we don't want to submit this attribute over and over again to Walmart. So what I'm going to do is I'm opening my file, I'm removing all of this information and now I'm importing it here this time it's empty I finish and now if you go to any product page you will see it's empty so it's this is the way it should be um, I'm just clicking refresh product statuses to see if they went through um, this status pending may stay for a few hours you can after a few hours again click refresh but the most important is actually to keep an eye on the, those feed statuses so you can see it went through here uh, my submission went through uh, it's submitted successfully uh, it was processed if you go to see details you may notice that everything everything is success 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 so you are done here and those products should now soon be listed on walmart.com